Hello friends, today we are going to tap on confidence. I know that without confidence, we often can get in the way of stepping fully into our purpose. And this is why I'm so passionate about using emotional freedom techniques so that we can remove those limiting beliefs, those negative emotions, those things that seem to be bogging us down and holding us back from really being able to step fully into who it is that we're called to be. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is I'm gonna ask you to take a brief moment and I want you to get in touch with how you're feeling about your confidence. And as you think about your confidence, how has it impacted you from showing up? Maybe it's preventing you from going after the dreams that you deeply want. Maybe it's preventing you from going live on social media or putting yourself out there. Maybe you find yourself constantly comparing your journey, your success, your wins, or your failures to everyone else's. Whatever it may be, I know that confidence has played a role and we want to be able to move past those limiting beliefs and those barriers and to help you increase your confidence so that you can go after those deep desires. All right, so go ahead and take a few deep grounding breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Wonderful job. Breathing in and breathing out. And we'll start right here with the setup point. And you can just repeat after me. Even though I lack confidence, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Let's do it one more time. Even though I lack confidence, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Great job. I don't feel like I'm good enough. And I often see other people exuding confidence with ease, but I could never. I feel so uncomfortable in my skin. I find myself looking at other people and comparing my journey to theirs. And then I begin to question my value or my worth. I think on repeat limiting beliefs about my value or about my worth. I feel stuck and stagnant because I don't believe in myself. I'm not confident in myself. I have so many shortcomings and so many barriers that prevent me from going after what it is that I deeply desire. I've always struggled with confidence. And deep down, I've never felt good enough, no matter what I've tried. And I'm not sure I ever will. I don't think I'm worthy. I'm not worthy of success or abundance that I want. In fact, sometimes I question why I'm so different, if there's something wrong with me. I don't feel creative enough. I don't feel inspired enough. I don't hustle enough. I don't feel consistent enough. I don't feel smart enough. And when I think about that, I feel so disappointed. I feel like I constantly let myself down because of my lack of confidence. I wish that I could be good enough, just like other people. And I hate feeling like other people are better than me. My lack of confidence is getting in my way. And even though I recognize that, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Good job. Now I want you to think about how you're feeling. We tapped through three rounds. And when you think of a scale of zero to 10, where you're at when you think of your confidence, I want you to think about where you rate. A zero being like, I feel confident, Dr. Nicole, yeah, I feel great. And a 10 being like, no, I still feel like my confidence is down the drain. If you're anything above a two or a three, 
I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and rewind this so that you can continue to tap out those limiting beliefs, continue to tap out those things that your body is sharing with you. And you don't necessarily have to repeat everything I'm saying. If there's something that feels more in alignment with you or something that you feel like you relate to a little stronger, go ahead and tap that out. If you're feeling better with some of the things that we started to tap on, let's go ahead and begin to tap in the positive suggestions so that you can feel super high vibe and ready to know that you are so confident, that you are worthy of amazing things and that you're amazing simply by being you. Let's dive in. I am confident. I am worthy of amazing things. I feel that deeply in my body and I know it as well. Because of that, I make decisions that align with my confidence. I taste, take risks because I know I'm confident. I can feel this confidence exuding itself all over my body. And I set examples by being confident. I deserve to feel good. I can choose to feel confident right now. And it's a choice that I make right now. I'm starting to feel stronger already. I'm starting to feel brave already. I'm starting to feel aligned already. I'm starting to think of what an example I get to be by showcasing my confidence. And I get to inspire other people and not feel guilty about my confidence. I turn heads when I walk into a room because of my level of confidence. People are telling me how great I look. People are telling me how smart I am. People are telling me I inspire them. And I receive all of that with ease. People want to learn from me. People see my genius and I see it too. I am happy and honored to be able to share it with the world. I am simply good enough and confident enough simply by being me. I allow myself to feel good and to feel confident. And I fully love and accept myself. Take a deep breath. Wonderful job. I hope that you're feeling absolutely amazing and confident knowing that you are perfectly made just how you are. You're wonderful, you're beautiful, and you're worthy of amazing things. And now I challenge you to embrace that confidence and step in to the next level version of who it is that you're called to be.